You got it. The text to talk and the takeaway. And this morning, the text is Luke 17, 15 through 19. Now, you know this story well. I need you to hear it again for the first time. It's the story of the 10 lepers. It's the story of the 10 lepers and how Jesus heals them. And in verses 15 through 19 is what we're going to deal with on this morning so that we can learn how to be a standout. So that we can learn how to be a standout. Jesus heals 10 lepers, one of which is a Samaritan. Here is Jesus' words as Luke the doctor pins them. One of them came back, praised God in a loud voice. There we go making some noise. He was a Samaritan. No one returned other than him. Jesus said to him, your faith has made you whole or well. Three things I want you to get with respect to learning how to be a standout. The first thing that you have to learn in order to be a standout, nobody wants to be just a part of the crowd, I need to stand out, is this. Your praise is going to bring you into the presence of Christ, which is going to help you be the standout that he's trying to make you be. In verse 16, notice this. He came back and threw himself at the feet of Jesus. He came back and threw himself at the feet of Jesus. Notice this. He said he made a loud noise when he did it, but it brought him into the presence of Christ. He could have stayed away, but notice this. Now, they had to stay up to about 300 yards from anybody because they were lepers. They had to cry out, leper, leper. They stayed in a village that was just for lepers. And they could not be associated in regular society without crying out. Now, they get healed and the leper comes back into the presence of the Lord as a standout. And he says, look, Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. So the first thing is that brings him into the presence. The second thing is, is it separated him. It separated him. You know, isn't it something? These 10 have been going around together, nine of which were Jews, one of which was a Samaritan. They never associated with each other, ever, Jews and Samaritans. But because they had leprosy, misery loves company. But when they got their deliverance, they let him know, you ain't a part of us. <laughs> Man, isn't that something? That's exactly how many people roll. You know what? It, when we in misery together, but soon as I get my breakthrough, I'm breaking away. You're not a part of me. You don't have the same color. You don't have the same uh, income. You don't live in the same neighborhood. I'm out. That's what he had to experience. But that's okay. That brought him back to Christ. Here's the third and final thing is this. Notice this. His praise got him more. The fact that he said, I'm going to stand out. I'm going to be separate. I'm going to do something that the others are not doing. He, what did Jesus tell him to do? Jesus said, go to the priest. Why go to the priest? Because the priest gives them now the official clearance of being cleansed that they can re-enter society. The Samaritan says, I know, the, the priest can't do anything for me. Jesus, you're the one that did for me. So I'm going to catch this. I'm going to break some rules. I'm coming to you, Jesus, for my clearance. I'm coming to you, Christ. I'm not going to go with tradition. I'm not going to stick with tradition. And in order for you to be the standout, you have to determine I'm not going to stick to tradition. What's your takeaway this morning? That you might be the standout that God has called you to be because of the praise that is in your heart that comes out of your lips to make the noise as the Samaritan who was cleansed did. Here's your takeaway. Be a rule breaker 
so you can get your breakthrough. You're going to have to be a rule breaker so that you can get your breakthrough and be the standout that God is calling you to be. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. It's going to be Thanksgiving, so you already know what we're going to talk about. Share the manna with one other person. God bless you. Bye now.